Welcome to Clyburn Kids. I'm Buddy Bray, I'm the host of Clyburn Kids, and we come to you as always from the Steinway Piano Gallery in downtown Fort Worth. Did you know that the piano can pretend to be things other than it is? It can pretend to be different instruments, it can pretend to be people, it can even pretend to be an animal. And that's what this episode is about. I want you to pay particular attention to our guest host for this program. It's our friend Sarah Doan, who works with us in our Clyburn in the Classroom program. Here's Sarah. Hi there, welcome to Clyburn Kids. My name is Sarah Doan, and I am the host of this program, The Chicken. If you've seen some of our other videos, you'll probably know that the piano loves to pretend to be all sorts of things. This time, the piano is going to pretend to be a chicken. So you're probably wondering, how? <laughs> when I think chicken, I think about chickens pecking for food. So I'm gonna see if I can make a sound that is chickens pecking. Well, that didn't quite feel like a chicken pecking. You know, when I pretend to act like a chicken pecking, you know, my pecks are short out and back. So I'm gonna try that on the piano and see if that works. I think we're onto something. Okay, but something is still missing from our chicken pecking. Imagine if you were eating dinner. Would you want to have one bite of dinner and be done? Me neither. I would take a lot more bites than just one. So let's add more pecks on the piano and see if that's better. I think we got our chicken pecks. <laughs> now I would like the piano to have more of a chicken sound to it. Can you make a chicken sound with your voice? I'll go first. Your turn. Okay, now let's see if the piano can do it. That sounded more like a slow motion chicken to me. Buckle. So if I wanted to make it sound more like mine, buckle, I think it has to go a lot faster. Let's try it. Buckle. I think that did it. I'm gonna try another one. <laughs> now we're going to meet our good friend and pianist, Gloria Lynn. She's going to be playing a piece by a French composer named Jean-Philippe Rameau. He wrote a piece in French titled La Poule, which means, you guessed it, the chicken. So throughout the entire piece, you're going to hear all of those chicken pecking. You're going to hear all of those baka all over the piece. So listen out for that. But I also want you to listen for this bonus question. Is the chicken alone or does the chicken have company? I'm gonna give you a little hint you can listen to Miss Gloria play, but you can also watch her hands. Take it away, Miss Gloria.
that's such a fun piece. Again, that was pianist Gloria Lynn playing La Poule, or The Chicken, by French composer Jean-Philippe Rameau. I hope you heard all of the pecking and all of the pecaws all throughout the piece. But did you figure out my bonus question? Was the chicken alone or did the chicken have company? So if you remember at the beginning of the piece, Miss Glory introduced the chicken with her right hand. But immediately another chicken came up played by the left hand. So if you thought there was more than one chicken, you were correct. There are lots of chickens. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed our program about how a piano pretends to be a chicken. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> That's it for this episode of Clyburn Kids. Our thanks to guest host Sarah Doan and to our guest pianist Gloria Lynn for helping us see how the piano can pretend to be a chicken. We have lots more episodes of Clyburn Kids on our website, www.clyburn.org kids. I'm Buddy Bray. I'm the host of Clyburn Kids. Thank you so much for watching.